Victoria's overall crime rate continues to fall, led by a reduction in burglaries and car thefts over the past year. But there's a warning about an expected spike in family violence over summer. The positive trend continues. Crime rates have dropped over the past two years. You know, this is the space we want to be in. We want to see down is better than up. Overall offences per 100,000 people were down 3.9% in the year to September and the number of crimes against the person dropped slightly. We're locking them up. If you're a repeat offender, you're going in. And it's as simple as that. But drug offences were up 5%, while burglary, break and enter, vehicle theft, sex offences and property damage were all down. The City of Melbourne had the most crime, followed by the Latrobe Valley, Horsham, Yarra Council area, Greater Shepparton and Mildura rounding off the top five. And of the total offences, more than 200,000 remain unsolved. Senior police say recruiting more officers and keeping thousands of Victorians in jail on remand waiting for their day in court have combined to help drive down the crime rate. We've seen an increase of 49% in remands in terms of those who we've charged. The opposition is concerned the biggest offender group is aged between 15 and 19 years. Here's an idea, Premier. How about you help get young people off drugs? And while family violence incidents have almost plateaued, there's a warning they will spike over the festive and summer season. I think we have to always remember that not everyone is looking forward to Christmas. Um, it is a really difficult time for a lot of families. Brendan Donoghue, Seven News. It's Neighbourhood Watch for the 21st century. Northern suburbs locals have turned to a new app in the fight against crime. It comes as official statistics paint a surprising picture of crime across the state. Seb Costello explains. It's been happening all over Northcote. A string of car break-ins that locals suspect have been carried out by the same man. There is somebody prowling around checking the handles of cars and, and um, seeing if they can sort of grab and dash. Dad of two, Josh Waldhorn, was robbed. Rather than put up with it, Josh now monitors crime in his street. He uses a new app to alert locals to the latest break-in and the take-up from neighbours has been staggering. We had a lot more eyes on the street and it was a safer place to be. The app is called Next Door and can be used on smartphones as well as computers. The aim is to get neighbours talking. They're no longer strangers if they're three doors up because you now can wave at them, you know, and say, hey, how are you? As those in Northcote strive to make their area safer, police address the latest crime statistics statewide, painting a positive picture. This is the lowest rate of victimisation in 10 years. That is a significant outcome. Overall, the latest stats show crime is down 1.6% in Victoria, the lowest result since 2015. But the news isn't all good. Sexual offences are up more than 6%. Crimes where an offender is actually identified has gone up 1.2%. And there's been a 5% spike in situations where a court order has been breached. The crime statistics group offences according to the local council zone in which they occur. And the area with the worst crime rate in Victoria is right here in the city of Melbourne. As for car break-ins, they're down too. Seb Costello, Nine News.